Hey gang, welcome back to another episode of UXpreneur. In today's episode, as promised, we're going from Figma to ProtoPie. So grab that popcorn, let's dive in. Oh, and while I got you here, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing keeps this channel alive. And if you know anybody that's a UX designer transitioning in their career, don't forget to share this channel with them because it's gonna transform their life and make them more hireable. So thanks for sharing. Now back to the show. What I first do is I come over to Figma and I go to plugins and I say, find more plugins. When you find more plugins, you can search for ProtoPie and you'll get that one that shows up and you'll click run. Then you get this little pop-up window and it says select frames or layers to export. So we're gonna do that as well from our four screens. We're gonna export them. And I'm gonna skip the tutorial and I'm gonna make this full screen. So here you can see we have the four scenes and I'm gonna move my layers down so I can see the scenes and you can see they're all here in the order that they were in on Figma. Now I did change it to a iPhone X mention, which is okay, I guess. On start, we actually wanna to listen to the vocals. So in order to do that, we're gonna to need to add a special listen beta. Let's just add this. On start, listen. When it starts listening, we want to add a voice command. We're going to want to add a trigger voice command while speaking. And then we're going to scale, right? We're going to scale the ellipse over here, ellipse two. And we're going to scale another ellipse three. And we're going to change the size. We're going to scale. Okay, let's go find that out from our humdrum here. In the design library, we changed ellipse two to 183. So let's come back to protopie and we're going to change it to 183 same thing here 183 now the other one we're going to scale larger it is 363 so we're going to scale ellipse 3 to 363 363 oh, i just i kind of want to move that up here okay so then while speaking scale these things there and there all right let's see if that works let's run it let's preview it yeah, would like to access my own okay testing one two three testing testing one, two, three. So it doesn't seem to be doing it. Finally got the protopie to work. You can see here when I go back, it immediately will start listening and resize the circles to go back to zero. Now, how did I do that? Well, this is how. Start listening and I have it on continuous listening. Then in the voice command, it needs to be while speaking. In this case, the while speaking is increasing the size to much larger than the original 113. The second voice command is while speaking, but this time it's shrinking it back down to the original size 1113 after a delay. So watch what happens when I increase this delay like this over here. So it's gonna be just a little slower, but it's very similar to our demo over here that we were doing before with Shazam. So when we go back here, it kind of gives us that look and feel. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. And then we want to be able to play back whatever was said here, which is the next step. I'm going to go through this process, with my own beatbox sound, and we're going to plug that into the old protopie prototype. Okay, got about 16 seconds there, and those are optional. I know it's me, so I'm just going to send. Now I'm gonna go over to SpeakPipe. We're gonna go get in the inbox there. Here I am, I'm gonna download it, and now upload that to our ProtoPie. Now where'd ProtoPie go? All right, get ProtoPie back up here, here we go. And when it comes to this page, we're gonna play that audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the media. It's gonna be audio. Go to my downloads, that's where it is. And I'm just going to have it hang out here for a little bit. And so here upon start, we are going to play back this layer. When pause is tapped, we go to playback and we wanna pause that. So now what we're gonna do is change the pause to a play button using Font Awesome. So I'm gonna type in font awesome and I'm gonna change it to solid. Then we're gonna go over and change the opacity to zero. Next, I'm gonna make sure that the lower layers are clickable. 
you can see that on click it hides. Then when that happens, so it says if pause is 100, make pause zero. But we should also make the opacity of play 100. And now let's see if it actually plays. Works. So we actually have a play button. So back here, I'm like, it's not really working, is it? Oh, it's only on voice commands. It's not beatbox. It doesn't work that way. But when we go back, now we should be able to listen. Interesting. All right, gang. I hope you enjoyed that video on how to take your Figma prototype to ProtoPie so we can add more advanced technology to your designs and get closer to real production code, although not quite there. If you like this video, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It keeps the channel alive. And to be notified about the next video, click the bell notification, and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.